Spencer Linton alongside Jerem Jordan. And joining us now to discuss Kids Day, BYU Women's Hoops, and much more is NBA veteran and current women's basketball coach Jeff Judkins. Coach, always nice to have you. Nice to be here. Been a while. We've got a surprise for you. Okay. I, I heard about it a little bit. Go okay. ahead. Oh, you heard it. about it. Oh, boy. Okay, 12-year-old Jeff Judkins was apparently a star of all stars yeah. in all sports. One of your friends brought in a Little League football picture. Look at you, man. You <laughs> rocking number 12. Number what, 12. A, what a handsome <laughs> devil. What position did you play when you were 12 years old? I played quarterback. Yes, you did. Of course did. you did, you played, alpha. I played quarterback and defensive end. And when I got to high school, <laughs> when I Those got, mix. yeah, I know, because I was tall and that, and I was had some speed, so they put me there. Um, when I went to high school, uh, the high school basketball coach said you could play football. He wasn't really crazy about it, but you can't play quarterback because we don't want you to get hurt. So they played me at wide receiver, and I played safety, and so those, so that's kind of what I did. And, I, I should have been the quarterback. The quarterback was not very good. <laughs> we had a lot better team. and um, But, you know, I understand. He didn't want me to get hurt, and my future was basketball. Oh, okay, so I've, at any point did you consider playing college football? Well, I had a couple offers. Where? You know, one from Oregon. Whoa! Uh, but Oregon wasn't what Oregon is now. You didn't but, have to mention but, that. But at the time, um, <laughs> them and uh, uh, Rice offered me a scholarship. Um and then, of course, basketball, I didn't have a lot, but I had more interest. And then I also played baseball. I had a lot of interest in baseball. Utah wanted me to play baseball. Fatty and BYU at the time wanted me to come down and look at baseball. So I was fortunate. I played three sports and um, had opportunities to really go anywhere probably with, with those. We're going to talk women's hoops in a sec, but we've been talking about burger places. Do you have a favorite burger place? Well, my favorite place is Hires. It's Hires Big H. Yeah, yeah. One of my. Where's that? It's in, there's, in there's there's one in yeah. It's on Seventh East and Fourth South. There's one out in Sandy. There's one out in West West Jordan, I think, West Valley. The reason I love those guys is that the owner of it, um, their two boys were Highland Rams. Went to Highland, went to school with me. Nice. One was a cheerleader. John, who's my age, and so... And the other was the quarterback that you didn't like. <laughs> the other was a, he was a running back, <laughs> but he was fast. He was really a good runner, but um, we did a, they did a lot with us at Highland. You know, a lot of uh, activities that hires helped us out with. Hires, okay. So hires is one of my... That probably big five, you know, you know... Um, I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of good hamburger joints there. Yeah. It really is. Five yeah. guys. Yeah. yeah, five guys. Five, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. What? Well, yeah, the Texans. They're all defending uh, Whataburger. I love a Whataburger. Uh, I've like had Whataburger? I've had a Whataburger. I don't know if it's as good as those others. Yeah. Okay. But probably my <laughs> probably my hamburger barbecue at home on my Traeger is probably the best. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. If you got a Traeger, everyone knows it. <laughs> hey, everyone, I'm telling you. If you ran a marathon, everyone knows. I'm, I'm telling you now that Traeger is. It's amazing yeah. what that what they can do. Right. Neither of us have one. Coming, up, coming over on Sunday. It. Juddy, thanks yeah. for offering to make yeah. us hamburgers yeah. on Sunday. I'll do that for you. Grill. I'll bring it out here. Yeah, home sweet home. Now, I, I say home sweet home with uh, uh, kind of a half smile because it has been the road that has been so good to you and your women's basketball team in the West Coast Conference. Road Warriors, what, what, what's the deal? Why are you playing so well away from home? Uh, boy, that's a, that's a great question. I, I don't know. I I think part of it is we've we've been really focused, and I think sometimes when you go on the road with a with a team, certain teams, um, you get focused and you, all you worry about is that game. And you don't have distractions from other things in your life, and um, you know we 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 talk about it in the season and say, hey, you need to, you don't need to be an up and down home and and road. I think part of it too is crowds. I mean, we get good crowd. We're the second team in our league in tenants behind Gonzaga, but maybe part of that. But it just seems like we have uh, – we, we just seem to be more focused uh, with going through things and be more worried about the game than a bunch of other, other distractions. You're playing the bottom two teams currently in the league, so how are you keeping your team, I guess, with a sense of urgency knowing, okay, these are two winnable games at home, but we got to go do it? Well, first of all, San Francisco is very, very scrappy. They're 0-7, but they probably should have won three games. Mm. They came right down the wire, and the ball bounced the wrong way, and their team uh, beat them. And their their coach is a really good coach. She runs her stuff, 
and they execute. Um, they're young, and that's part of the reason. Uh, Santa Clara, I really haven't watched much much on them because every you know I have I have two coaches that are breaking down stuff. So when the games are with, but just seeing them against other teams, they have a lot of firepower. I'm surprised that they're in the bottom of the league. Um, part of it is matchups, and part of it is you got to be ready to play every night. You just can't play one night and then think you're gonna you're gonna survive. You you have to be ready to, to really put it back to back. Like we had a really good win against Pacific. It was a real physical, tough game, and then we had to turn around and what less than two days and play St. Mary's, which was a totally different team. Spread you out. And you have to be mentally ready for that. And some teams just don't just don't get ready for that. Not only that, Paisley Johnson goes for a career high 31 points in that overtime win yeah. against Pacific. I watched it on my computer uh, she in played the Marriott Center. She's the best game I've seen her play. But then she has a bum ankle and can't play against St. Mary's. And you still win that game. Kaylee Smiler comes in and puts up 19 points. What does that say about the depth of your guard line? I think what it says uh, as number one is, how grateful are we that Smyther was prepared? You know, you you talk about that as a coach your whole, whole all during the season. Prepare yourself. Be ready. Something happens. Your number's going to get called. And talk's cheap. You know, doing it is what you have to do. And she did. She came in. Fed both her and Lonnie. Lonnie started the game, came out defensively, was locked into him, did a great job. She made some really pretty nice plays. She just didn't shoot the balls well, she would like, but she came out and gave us a lot of energy. And then, and then Smyther comes in and, and, you know, just to let it come. And, you know, we all know she can shoot, you know, and we have shooting drills. We do all this stuff every day and Smyther's in the top every day. So it wasn't like the team was shocked that she hit three pointers. And, but what happened was, was nice is she hit her first one. Then she just started getting more confidence. And then the other parts of her game got better, her defense, moving without the ball, being in the right place, the right time, all those things kind of came into place. And I hope she builds on this and just keeps going because um, it's nice to have a kid like that come off the bench and they can hit some shots. A freshman from uh, New Zealand. How is Paisley Johnson's ankle? Well, they've done a lot of work. We're hoping she can go tomorrow. Um, we're not We're not sure yet. It's kind of day by day. Um, if I know Paisley, she'll, she'll try to do it. <laughs> Um, she's sprained a tough ankle? Kid. Is that what yeah, she sprained her ankle. And, in the game? Uh, she did it in warm-ups. Wait, of the Pacific game? Of the game? Pacific game. But played the whole game and scored 31 played in overtime. Game. Played the whole <laughs> game. What? Yeah. Yeah, you know. Just uh, adrenaline and it yeah. was Sometimes and... when you sprain your ankle like that, you can tape it up. And the, like you said, and decision we had to make. Jeff, Jeff Hurst is my trainer. And, you know, what a great job he does. He's like a coach to me. Yeah. When she did it, he said, hey, I think we can play her, but here's the negative part of it. She might play tonight, and then Saturday might be swollen and she won't be able to play. What do you want to do? And I said, well, I guess we need to play her. I mean, we need to play this game. Let's do it and see what happens. And um, if she had had maybe one more day, she might have been able to play that, maybe play. But um, that was what we did, and thank goodness she had a game of her life and, and really, you know, really helped us win that game. How does she sprain her ankle in warm-ups? They were doing some layups like the two times, two at a time, and it just she went in and just caught, fell down on a on Brenna's foot, and oh, that was that was it. Cute. And I didn't see it; I just it see her over there laying down. And I'm going, now what? But uh, <laughs> you know, this is this has been a tough year with this, yes. with a lot of stuff with oh. with Coach Shaley, and then other injuries to our players, and Jasmine being hurt, and and um, you know Paisley going down, and. Um, Kyra, who's gone through this knee problem, we've never got her back, and Shalay's had some had some issues, and then to top it all off, we're walking through or running through Saint uh, Saint Mary stuff on Friday, and Ray Stewart is is being one of the Saint Mary players, and he's running through the stuff, and he just goes to to to, to get a ball that's loose, and and he tears his Achilles tendon. What? Yeah. He cured, oh, he, my gosh. So he's getting surgery on it on Friday. So he tore his Achilles. So this has been a – Hey, this take it easy. A, this has what been a crazy, game? crazy thing. It really wow. has. So he's going to have surgery, and he'll hopefully he'll be back. He'll miss Saturday's game, but he'll be back for all the rest of the games. Jenny, yes. you're due. You're, you're due just for a bunch of good stuff now. The yeah. assistant coach injury? Assistant in coach season? injury. Oh, that's terrible. And then my other Sorry. assistant coach – 
uh, Mel Pearson, she tore ACL, you know, before the season. So now she, so that's what I'm saying. Lee Kamar, stay we, healthy. Yeah, Lee Kamar, don't practice. That's right. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, Jim Mother's coach is, is going to have twins. <laughs> That's and right. She's going to have twins. Kim's going to have twins in May. Kim. Oh, Kim? Kim Kim's going to have, have twins? twins in May. Well, at least there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Juddy, um, go get yourself a huge burger at Hire's Big H. Yeah, go get uh, a burger. Kick your feet up. Relax. All, all, good karma's coming, man. BYU Sports Nation karma for Juddy based on everything that has gone wrong. <laughs> it's all it's all coming back, man. Well, you know, I, it's sometimes in life you – you have you have tri trials and your team learns from that and that's that's the main thing for us and hopefully we can get these two this week and be right in the run running and and then of course next weekend's a big big week too so we're excited we're excited to, to hopefully get playing better and and do it okay we'll be there tomorrow yeah, and, and Saturday yeah. 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 all the kids that'll be awesome there will be, be a lot of kids.